How many times, have you stumbled across a motorcycle's picture on the internet, and thought, it can't be real? This is one of the problems, with today's high level of realism, on some 3D renderings. When I saw the photographs you are looking at now, my first thought was, it is not real. But it could also be a prototype miniature. Everything seemed too amazing to be true. The illumination, the colors, the materials, and especially the images out of focus. But what really made me doubt, were this BMW's lines. Because if this bike was real, it could only be one of the most amazing projects I've ever seen. Welcome to Racer TV. So, you still have doubts that this bike is real, don't you? The truth is, it is real, and it looks fantastic. To be honest, I only realized this bike was real, when I saw this photograph because I recognized this speedometer from Moto Gadget. As you see, most of these amazing photographs seem to have been taken to cause this reaction of uncertainty. And from this perspective, I think the photographer did a really good job. Because the futuristic lines of this motorcycle are simply unbelievable. Especially because it is parked with the bottom sitting on the ground Fortunately, this only happens when everything is off. And when it's on, the magic happens. And who is the magician? Dmitry Golubchekka, founder of Zilla's Garage, located in Russia. The project started as a commission from BMW Motorrad Russia. And why would someone choose Dmitry? to transform a BMW R9T. Simple. When we see a custom build like this, you can only expect the best and most impressive level of craftsmanship. No wonder, he won the 2018 AMD World Championship. And I am suspecting, he will win again this year. Did you notice where the disc brakes are located? Just like I said. A really impressive work. So, getting back to the BMW. I have to say, I don't remember seeing anything like it. We can find some lines used in the past, with other amazing motorcycles. But this one, has something else. It looks futuristic, but with some Neo Retro Cafe racer lines. Could perfectly be Batman's motorcycle. At least, it has enough room to install some hidden guns. One of the most popular questions I usually read on the comments section is, where is the battery hidden? And on this case, no. It is not inside the rear cowl. This is another very clever feature. A storage compartment where there is a USB socket to charge a smartphone. And so, where is the battery then? Well, considering the volume and size of all these body panels, I am sure it won't have lack of space to hide it. As you can imagine, to build a project like this, it demands a top level of technical skills, 
and also the right technology. As you can see, a 3D printing machine was used to create several parts, just as the air filter box, the air intake tubes, and the fairing front section. But this is only a small part of the story, because all these parts also had to be designed and built from scratch. Just as the body panels, which were all hand formed from aluminium sheets. The entire pneumatic suspension system was also created from scratch by Zilla's garage. From turning the pneumatic cylinders, all the way to creating the control mechanism. The project began as a CAD drawing, which was made by Mikhail Small and of him, in cooperation with John Red Design. Some said, that these lines have some steampunk flavor. But the truth is, the inspiration came from the world of aviation. If we compare the initial rendering with the finished project, you will notice some small differences on the front. The windscreen seems like a good and useful solution. But what I want to demonstrate is how a small difference in the proportions may have a huge influence in the final stance of this motorcycle. As you see, this front section on the rendering makes the motorcycle look more modern. I don't know if this change was made on purpose, or if it was a technical necessity. But personally, I think it ended up way better than the initial project. The fact that the front is now wider, and less aerodynamic, makes the bike look more retro, and less modern. A very subtle detail, but one that makes all the difference. I must say, I have seen and presented many impressive bikes on this channel. And this will be one of those, I will never forget. And something tells me, that BMW Motorrad, will do the same. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.